now, live from downtown Springfield, this is CBS 3 Springfield News at 6. A cop in court accused of taking his family hostage. Tonight, his attorney says it was just a big misunderstanding. Good evening, I'm Doug Lazette. And I'm Jennifer Tome. We're learning more about Springfield Police Officer Thomas Michael. He appeared in court today charged with holding his wife and child against their will at their Hamden home. But his lawyer says Michael's wife is to blame. CBS 3 Springfield's Liz Tufts has our continuing coverage. Liz? That's right, Doug and Jennifer. The story from Hamden Police is much different from Thomas Michaels. Police say he threatened to kill his wife and small child and police officers, but Michaels' lawyer says the whole thing is a big misunderstanding. Springfield Police Officer Thomas Michael was led into Palmer District Court in plain clothes, not knowing if he'll ever wear a police uniform again. Yesterday, a SWAT team, state troopers, and Hamden police surrounded his home on Stony Hill Road after responding to a domestic violence call. Hamden police say they got a call from his wife, Judith, the night before, saying her husband held a gun to her head and tried to choke her. The next day, police attempted to arrest Michael, but they say he held his wife and three-year-old son hostage in their home for more than two hours. That's when a standoff began. Due to some threats that Mr. Michael had made earlier regarding um, harming uh, possibly himself and his family and also shooting any police officer that may respond. Uh, assistance from the Massachusetts State Police was requested. She wasn't being held hostage. But Michael's lawyer, Thomas Rook, says it's all a big mix-up. Rook told the judge his client never knew the police were outside his home. He says Michael's wife admitted to having a drinking problem and had been drinking the night she called police. She says she made up the whole story. She was grossly intoxicated. Um, she does not have a clear memory of speaking to the police. Um, she denied that he ever assaulted her or threatened her. Rook says the Springfield cop resisted arrest because he was thrown off guard when he saw dozens of police officers outside his home. It wasn't until he pulled out of the driveway that they conversed upon him spontaneously. That's the first time he saw the police. We did a story on Michael just last year when he was honored for helping to save a toddler in a lawn mowing accident. Now the 14-year veteran of the Springfield Police Department is suspended without pay. He's a law enforcement officer himself. He respects law enforcement officers. And again, Michael is being held without bail. He'll be back in court on Monday as for his three children. They're currently in DSS custody. Live in the newsroom tonight, Liz Toss, CBS 3 Springfield.